When you're on long form camping trips, everyone only generally sees the highlight reel on Instagram or Facebook or the rainbows, fires on the beach, sunset, pina coladas. Sometimes you get caught in the middle of a squall and it gets real cold. <laughs> you on? Just pull it in steady. It come off. So the weather's turned on us today. It is pretty thick and set in with strong winds, thunderstorms, and a hell of a lot of rain. We went out and tried to catch a feed of fish to no avail. We've come back, a boat pulled us up in the channel, and they said to us, hey, you, you guys camp down the end of the beach there under that um, iron roof? Well, like, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, we just grabbed a tent out of the ocean that was drifting away that had blown from the camp when this last storm come through, but blew our tent out into the ocean didn't have pegs in um, so we've come back and yeah fortunately absolute legends if you see this thank you they grabbed our tent from floating away to Indonesia and brought it um, and put it uh, up here for us um, but sort of the downside is that yeah it's full of water and salt and sand and it's bucketing down rain not to be dried out so it's all part of being out here doing it yeah. <laughs> On the weather she turned. The wet season is properly here and the boat is half full of water. That's just not good. That's a lot of water. Nothing's pumping out of the middle. <laughs> Just there's so much water in here. Maybe hard to get an appreciation for it, but yeah, it's sort of as rainy and windy as it gets. I don't know what our camp's going to look like on the island about four miles away, but it's too rough to get over there. So hopefully our tents are left. Um, yeah, we just got to ride it out because it's not safe to travel on the ocean, obviously. But it's all this. So we're just going to wait it out. It's probably been an hour and a half, two hours since we've been cuddled up on the street. Yeah, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Blue sky and sunshine. An absolute pleasure to see after the last 24 hours of being really cold and real wet. It's still blowing probably 20 to 25 knots today, but we're in somewhat of a protected bay. And we're meeting up for the girls last night with a couple of our mates, um, Angelo and Maddie and a few other people we haven't met yet. Yeah, we're gonna have a catch up this afternoon because uh, Nikki and Kelly are unfortunately out, they only up for a few days, gotta get back. Gonna take in a, a little bit of lunch, got some coconuts, got some rum, got a machete. We might go check out some waterfalls this afternoon. So we made some friends who live on an island we really haven't checked out yet. It's the girls' last day, so we're, and we've just had so much rain the last couple of days, so the water holes are all filled up. So <laughs> fortunately, um, a couple of the locals that live here brought us down to this swimming hole, uh, so we can have a few beers. I have a freshwater spritz. <laughs> so bloody good. <laughs> it was diesel. It was diesel. Right. It was? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. much. That's not petrol. Okay, so it's, it's diesel. Yeah. We got diesel, petrol, not petrol. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> What's for dinner, Angelo? Yeah. Did you catch it? Yep. Last weekend. On this island? Yeah, on the back of Prince of Wales. Shoot. Well done, mate. Oh, all right, buddy. 
paddock to plate. That's it, mate. This the one, real deal. This one came up and said good day and you know, take him home. No fish today, but we got veggies, just slow cooking ham in the cast iron pot. There we go, boom, mixed bag of veggies. Thank you very much. We got a garlic olive oil rice, and the bonfire is now turning into coals. <laughs> Looks horrible, but geez, it tastes good. <laughs> Anchor it up, heap of rain last couple of days, so hopefully we can find a, a bit of a waterfall coming down this mountain ridge here. Oh, there's so much water. How good is that? Yeah, there's like a series of pools as it goes all the way up and you get a view of the ocean. Hiked up, only a few minutes, it just keeps going up and up and up, up the ridge. What a great way to finish the last few days. So Nikki and Kelly are cruising back on the airport back to Australia today, and they've got to be at the airport getting ready for their flight in 30 minutes, and we're at the top of an infinity pool waterfall where we've just had a swim. Uh, so the girls could have a freshwater shower. Now we need to quickly put the footwork on, jump in the boat, and hopefully we have enough fuel to get to the airport. Nothing like cutting it fine last minute. Down a couple of wet rocks. Here's Captain Woods. It's danger on the high seas. You feel safe, Cal? Made it just in time. Two minutes to spare. Well, hopefully I've got enough fuel to get back over to TI. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly and Nikki, if you see this, thank you for an incredible few days. Had such a bloody good time. Loved every second, the adversity, the rainstorms, the penguin huddles, the good tucker, the sunshine, the stargazing, the wine on the beach, all the good shit. Thank you. Now it's time to work out how to get back home. I always knew logistically getting the boat back home was going to be an absolute nightmare because we left at such a short notice for such a big bloody trip. But now it's all working out and I'm getting the boat on the trailer. Jack, the boat is safe, mate. The rifle bird, she's safe. One thing he said to me, <laughs> one thing Jack said to me before he got on the plane and left here from Horn Island was, man, just don't sink the boat. Just please don't sink the boat. And we have it, mate. We're just about to get it on the trail. Oh. Here, mate. Mate. 
beautiful. Oh, yeah. So magic, especially when it's not raining, yeah. or when the rain stops. <laughs> Back here to the island where I'm camping tonight and then flying out tomorrow uh, afternoon after a date with quarantine in the morning. <laughs> But the boat is safely on the uh, trailer. It's all strapped down, all tied in. And then that over the next week is gonna travel back down to where I live, down the east coast of Australia. And then I'm gonna fly out on the afternoon flight uh, back to the farm. Gotta get back to the farm, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to, to see the animals, see my family, and uh, check out on the orchard and the fruit trees and the greenhouse. Pretty buggered, still need a couple of good sleeps under my belt and a hell of a lot of water and a good stretch. The chassis is probably holding up just as well as the boat, so it's hanging in there but needs a needs a fair bit of maintenance and, and love and attention and all the rest of it. But that's alright. That's alright because it was the trip of a lifetime. Close to a month ago, set out. To travel from home, our own backyard, to get to the bottom of Papua New Guinea, the most northern tip of Australia, through the Torres Strait Islands. And we're here, we're camped there behind us, in a little dilapidated but soon to be refurbished campsite on the edge of the beach, surrounded by granite boulders, mangroves, and with a view, you see on the other side of Jack there where he swam out to get the boat. Papua New Guinea, about four miles away, mainland New Guinea, final frontier. Oh, I've got to get it off the bottom, get it off the bottom. Oh, yeah, oh, that's wow, nice. that's oh. insane. Oh. That's just a monster. <laughs> that is such a spectacular fish. <laughs> can't make a plan. You've got to set uh, virtually zero expectations. <laughs> Take it all as it comes, soak it all up. So grateful to be here, to be able to do this. <laughs> Look at that! Another perfect Nautilus. Yeah, oh, not much sleep. Not much sleep. Lots of squalls. Pretty alarming. The so... wet season is properly here and the boat is half full of water. More so, okay. So we headed north through one of the final frontiers of wilderness areas on the planet. The Torres Strait Islands up to the bottom of Papua New Guinea. And this trip was every bit what we wanted to get out of it. Both challenging, rewarding, enriching. And we'll forever be grateful for it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Seriously? Yeah, this fun. one's... That is yours. Yeah. Merry Christmas, yeah, Happy New you. Year. Thank you! There it is. See you, mate. We'll see you at the end of the week. Hang in there. Oh, there's a huge part of me that wishes I was riding, riding the rifle bird back down the east coast to home, but it's just the weather's proper turn day. It's really rough. There's a category two cyclone uh, that's formed in the middle of North Queensland. So probably a safe bet that we're flying today. Hopefully it's safe to fly. I'm heading to the airport now. I've got my one clean shirt on. One clean shirt on that that Nikki brought me up and back home to the farm this afternoon. It's all sorts of ugly out there. 
Well, it's just a different kind of beautiful, a violent washing machine kind of beautiful. I'm just sitting here on the edge of the wharf, having a bit of taco before the bus comes and picks me up to go to the airport. And there's a six meter fiberglass boat that just came in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten family members and a heap of gear. And they've come from Saibai, which is 80 or 90 nautical miles north of here. And it's probably blowing 20 to 25 knots, which in this ocean, coupled with like some tide into that wind, can be a pretty scary sea. So what they've just done is like phenomenal. Um, and I said to him, I was like, mate, like how was the ocean? He's like, ha ha ha, it was beautiful. Like sarcastically. And then, and then he reckons, what choice do I have? The ocean is our highway. What choice do we have? The ocean is our highway. The blue highway. There's the gear, some of. There's all the fuel drums I've used, and that's the, the family that's just come off. It's insanely impressive. Let's do this. journey um, thank you everyone who was a part uh, however great or little of the journey um, and thank you everyone especially from the Torres Strait Islands who are lucky enough to call that beautiful part of the world home thank you I look forward to getting there again soon oh the chickens have grown up so big Where's the buffalo? There's the cows. There's the buffs. All right. Time to get to work. Yeah.